Hey! This is a quick guide to every Demogorgon add-on in DVD. I'll also be ranking every add-on on a tier list to provide a visual reference. For this video, I'll be going in order from lowest rarity add-ons to highest rarity. The placement of add-ons and tiers are not ordered. I'm going to quickly explain each tier, although many are pretty self-explanatory. The broken tier is for add-ons that are good enough to be considered overpowered. These add-ons tend to completely change the flow of the match in different ways and are arguably too good. However, that tier won't be relevant for this video as none of Demogorgon's add-ons are really overpowered at all. The run every game tier is pretty self-explanatory. These add-ons can be run every single match you play and you'll generally see success or value from them every time. Some of these add-ons are near required depending on the killer, while others are simply very good. I'm going to lump the explanation of the good and okay tier together. These tiers are about what you would expect. Both containing decent add-ons are still worth running, but aren't nearly as good as ones in the run every game tier. Lastly, the don't bother tier. This tier is dedicated to add-ons that you really shouldn't ever run, including add-ons with terrible effects or ones with numbers that barely matter. Okay, I'm just gonna get this one out of the way at the start. Rat Liver is inarguable to run in every single match you play. Demogorgon moves at 92% speed while holding Shred, but this add-on boosts that speed by 9% all the way up to 101. Moving faster than survivors while holding Shred is huge. You are literally guaranteed to get value from this add-on every single game you use it. So many potential hits with Shred are literally impossible without this add-on, and it's common, so you really don't have any excuse to not have it equipped all the time. I, I really think behavior should make Rat Liver a base part of Demo's kit. For these reasons, I am placing Rat Liver in the Run Every Game tier. It's incredibly average. The actual effect is nice, having an extra portal is pretty good. The only real issue I have with this add-on is that there is a yellow version that is just directly better. And with one of your add-on slots pretty much always being taken up by our lord and savior, you really don't have much room for add-ons like this. I'm putting it in okay, but I would argue it should go and don't bother because of the better yellow variant. Underrated is the word that comes to mind with this one. I often see this add-on recommended to new or inexperienced demo players, but I'd argue that even good demo players miss shreds every game. Plus, the numbers on it are actually solid and make a noticeable difference. However, there exists a certain yellow version that I'll talk about later that is directly better. Blackheart suffers the same fate as Rotten Pumpkin, and shall go in okay. Another extremely good common add-on, Rat Tail is super good. The effect seems simple, but setting portals faster saves you a lot of time, and the numbers on Rat Tail are insane. It literally increases the setting speed of portals by 50%, which is absolutely wild. This can be the difference maker if you need to set a portal and make it to a location quickly. Also, it's a common, just like Rat Liver. Please use this add-on, it's amazing. Run every game. This one is super, super good. Eh? The tracking from portals is a great part of Demo's kit, but it doesn't come into play super often in matches, and oftentimes you really don't need extra tracking range. Plus, there yet again exists a better variant with more effects at a higher rarity. Honestly, I think this one is a don't bother. Once again, eh? Sometimes it can be a lifesaver if you see survivors cleansing a portal from far away and want to stop them, but for the most part, this effect barely matters. Also, as is a running theme, there exists a better version that basically combines effects together. Don't bother. Overshadowed by a superior, higher rarity version. Moving faster through the upside down is a surprisingly good effect, and in theory, it could be stacked with its higher rarity brother, but having to run liver all the time means you really don't have room for this. It has surprisingly good numbers for yellow, and the effect is good, so I really can't place it and don't bother, but it's not super amazing. Okay. Actually, surprisingly good. Remember when I was talking about better versions of add-ons at higher rarities? This is that add-on. Muse Guts combines the effects of Rotten Pumpkin and Blackheart into one, making a surprisingly nice combo. I kind of already covered the effects when I was talking about those add-ons, but I see no reason to not run Muse Guts over those two. One of your add-on slots should always be taken up by Liver, so having an option like this that combines two effects into one is pretty nice. It's not good enough to run every game, but I would definitely call it a good add-on. This effect is incredibly forgettable, just like the character it is referencing. 
It lets you teleport again faster after an initial teleport. The numbers on it are pretty bad, and even if they were good, spamming teleports as demo really isn't a good strategy. Not much to say, this one isn't worth it. Same thing as Barb's glasses, but slightly better. And once again, really not worth using at all. I dare say it's maybe worthy of okay, but that's a stretch. Okay, so this one combines these two piles of garbage into something actually pretty alright. I could see this one being worth running alongside Liver, since it only takes up one slot instead of two. It's worth running, but only just. How is this add-on made in late 2019? As is standard, blindness is an effect that comes into play one in every 100 matches. Like, seriously, what are you trying to counter with this, left behind? I guess at least the duration of it is pretty long, but I'd argue that clowns blindness add-ons are more applicable, and that's really not a sentence I ever want to say again. Don't bother unless you are a silly person. The description of the effects sounds so neat, but the numbers on it are pretty pathetic. It gives you an extra 0.5 seconds of undetectable after coming out of a portal. Going for plays with the undetectable status effect is already gimmicky at best, and this one only gives you half a second extra to try to make silly plays. I really want to be nice and give it okay, but it really just isn't worth it. Oh thank god, finally a good one. The older brother to Rotten Green Tripe, Deerlung is super strong. This add-on takes the numbers of the yellow one and puts them on steroids, increasing your traveling speed by 40%. This is huge in making big plays and preventing key objectives from being finished by survivors. I really don't know what else to say. This one is awesome. Run every game if you prefer it over Rat Tail. And right back to the garbage we go with one of, if not the worst exhaustion add-ons in the entire game. I could go on a literal rant about all the issues with this one, but I'll try to keep it short. To even get the effect to activate, you need survivors to come in contact with a portal, which doesn't happen as often as you'd think. Then, you'd have to find them immediately after they seal the portal, since the exhaustion lasts a whopping 5 seconds. And even if you do manage to locate someone that quickly, many good survivors already walk mid-chase to get their exhaustion back. With lifeguard whistle being 5 seconds, even an average player will know to just walk a bit to get unexhausted. This one is a purple rarity, but there are multiple common add-ons for other killers that are better. Don't bother, ever. This one takes what Violet Wax Cap does and makes it actually kind of decent. Instead of being half a second, this one amps up the extra undetectable by one second, boosting you up to three seconds total of undetectable. I want to call this good, but it's really not. I'll say it's worth running, but only just. Okay. Another one of those weird ones that increases the time survivors take to seal portals. It has decent numbers, making survivors take 28% longer, but this effect is still really situational and not very good. I'll give it okay. Egg. It has the same effect as Eleven Soda and Barb's Glasses, but better. The numbers on this one actually somewhat matter, but as I mentioned earlier, spamming teleports as demo doesn't really do anything, and is a mediocre strategy overall. Extremely situational with numbers that are decent at best. Okay. Demo's first ultra rare, and it's okay. I think this one could be decent if it showed all survivors' auras while traversing the upside down, regardless if they were injured or not. As it currently stands though, this one manages to just be alright. Demo goes in a straight line from portal entrance to exit, so you often run into the issue of not physically being able to see an injured survivor's aura because they're out of your FOV. I'll call it okay, but I could see it being good. We finish off the add-ons with a pretty good ultra rare. Red Moss takes the effect of the Vermilion webcap and makes it into a genuine threat. The add-on boosts the time of your undetectable all the way up to 10 seconds, allowing you to place portals in unique locations to sneak up on survivors. It has a drawback technically, but the drawback barely even matters. It's pretty much the effect of Egg, but in reverse, making it take longer to activate another teleport in succession. This one is quite good. So yeah, if you couldn't tell, Demogorgon's add-ons are weird. Most of his best add-ons are common, and he has many that are just straight up terrible. If you want some recommendations for add-on sets to use, I'd recommend Rat Liver every game. And you really can't go wrong pairing it with either Rat Tail or Deer Lung. The add-ons in the good tier are definitely worth using if you want to mix it up a bit, and I'd even say that a lot of the ones in the okay tier are alright. As for the don't bother tier, well, don't bother. Thanks for watching.